Hey guys, V here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the power supply unit in a PC build. So, obviously you're going to need the power supply unit, and I got a semi-modular. What that means is these are not modular. These are already on the board, on the power supply itself, and then you add the rest of the cable. So this, this one with the red in this kit, uh, is for the PCIe which means it's for the graphics card and some graphics card doesn't don't need that some do in my case I do so we're gonna need to plug that in and we're gonna need to plug in the SATA connection as well and then we're gonna go ahead and install it and uh, get all that squared away all right so first step we're gonna go ahead and plug in our cables Go ahead and remove any tie downs. And then this red one just goes into the PCIe plug for the GPU. And then the SATA goes into one of these. Um, honestly, I don't think it matters, but I just always go into the HDD one, even though I'm using a SSD. So if you're not using uh, a HDD or a SSD or anything that requires these SATA plugs then you don't have to plug these in um, and if your GPU doesn't require this power connector then you, you wouldn't even need any of these so just keep that in mind now and I'm going to show you how to install this so one thing I like about this case is the fact that it has ventilation on the top and on the bottom. So what that means is you can actually install this power supply unit either way. If your case doesn't have ventilation on the top side, then you would need it on the bottom and this would suck air straight from the bottom of the case and out the back. In my case, this is LED and um, I do want this to be uh, at, used as an exhaust fan. So, go ahead and pop this in through the rear. Now, align it with the screw holes and the power supply unit, as long as it's brand new, does come with its own screws. So, just go ahead and start screwing these in. I don't screw them in all the way just yet. I make sure everything aligns because this does give a little bit of wiggle room to slide it back or forth if you need to. And in this case, we do because we need that screw hole to line up perfectly and that one to line up perfectly. Good. All right, that is installed. All right, so that 24 pin plugs in right in there and you would just twist this around and plug it in the proper way and I'll show you that in a minute. And then the eight pin plugs in right up there. All right, so I went ahead and plugged in the eight pin up here. It was a tight fit with my hand in there, but I got it plugged in. And then uh, this 24 pin, got that plugged in. Make sure while you're doing this, take your other free hand, get it behind and put it on the motherboard itself. Hold it so while you're pushing these in, you're not damaging anything, you're not fl uh, flexing anything. And then the final, step would be to take your SATA cables and stuff, plug in your solid state drives, your hard drives, whatever you have. If you have any SATA connections, in this case, I do. I have a solid state drive that I'm gonna install, and then I have this fan hub right here that also uses a SATA connection, so I'm gonna plug that into here. And then once I have the GPU in the computer itself, then this one will be for the GPU and you are all set. That's how you install a power supply. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.